Hi everyone and welcome back to the Tackle Show YouTube channel. My name is Alicia. Whether you're an experienced boater operating a motor propelled watercraft or a new boater in a self propelled canoe or kayak, in this video we're going to talk about five boating basics you should know to stay safe while on the water. Our first of our five boating safety basics is always wear a PFD. Although they come in a variety of styles, two key factors are critical to their safe and proper use. The PFD must fit the chest size and weight guidelines for the user and must be in good condition. You can watch our other water safety video on how properly fitting PFDs can save lives and keep you and your family safe while on or near the water. There's a card right here and I'll put a link in the description below. Number two, get training. Transport Canada requires all operators of a pleasure craft with any type of motor to pass a course and carry proof of competency. This is called a pleasure craft operator's card. As the operator, it is your responsibility to not only obtain this card and carry it with you, but also to maintain this knowledge and competency when operating a motorized boat. Number three, plan your trip. Take the time to do some research to know your route in advance. Be aware of hazards such as rocks, sandbars, sunken logs, etc. It's a good idea to tell someone where you're going and when you plan to return. Don't forget to keep a close eye on the weather and have a plan for getting back to shore safely if the weather turns unfavorable. Number four, know your vessel and always be prepared. You should know your vessel and its capabilities and always be prepared for emergencies. Check your boat over before you leave to ensure that it's in full working condition and that you have everything on board that you need or might wish you had in the case of an emergency. A list of the legally required equipment you need to have on board can be found on the Transport Canada website. Some things you might plan to bring just in case are water, food, and extra clothing. Be sure to obey all occupant and weight capacities listed on the boat and always attach the engine cutoff switch to your clothing or your life jacket. This important feature is crucial as its purpose is to cut off the engine if you were to fall overboard. And last, number five, it is your job to ensure that you operate safely and responsibly. Drive at a safe speed and follow all boating safety and navigational rules. Stay alert and never operate a boat while under the influence. Now responsible boaters are not only safe operators, but also ecological stewards as well. Did you know that you could be transporting small invasive species to new water bodies without even knowing it? Some invasive species can attach to your boats, motors, trailers, or can even stow away through live well water. To prevent the spread, a responsible boater can follow the clean, drain, dry strategy of the Invasive Species Awareness Program. Before transporting your watercraft over land, before reaching your boat launch, and before launching into any Ontario water body, you should clean your boat, drain all standing water, and dry or disinfect your vessel. For more information on this, I'll link a video and a card here and add some details in the description below. If you want a chance to win these two adult size inflatable PFDs, you can enter the draw by completing our water safety quiz. I'll have all the information about that water safety quiz in the description below. Wherever you fish, remember to follow the signs and stay clear and stay safe as water near dams and hydro stations can turn dangerous in a heartbeat. See you next time.